When I was first born, I didn't speak English. I actually didn't speak any language because I was just born. There's not too many babies out here that just come out the womb like, how you doing, doc? I can speak. You didn't expect that. I fucking got you. But after I was born and I grew up as a child, I still didn't speak English. I only spoke Greek because my family was Greek and growing up in America, not knowing English has a couple of challenges. When I first started playing soccer at four years old, the coach would tell me, all right, so today you're going to be on the left wing. So run over to that spot so we can get started. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Go run over. So, so are you going to go run over or do you even speak English? Okay. Yo, who the fuck is this kid? But starting in pre-K, I started to learn English every day. My teacher would pull me aside from the other kids and I would have to take special tests. Now, these tests were extremely easy if you knew English, but for me, they were some of the hardest tests I've ever taken in my life to this day. One test I remember taking was a piece of paper with four squares on it and each square showed a teddy bear and a staircase. And all I had to do was tell my teacher where the bear was relative to the staircase. So the first two I knocked out easy. Bears to the left, bears to the right. Fucking easy shit, bro. What do you think? I'm in fucking pre-K? You are in pre-K. Fucking right I am. But then the next two were a little harder. All I had to say was up and down. But I guess I didn't know those words yet because in my mind I was like, what the fuck is this bear doing? But once I hit kindergarten, that's when my English started getting a lot better, but it still wasn't perfect. I remember we were reading a book out loud one day, and I got called to read, and one of the words I had to read was island, but I'd never heard of that word before, so obviously I had to sound it out, and I said island, and my teacher said, no, it's not island, it's island, and I'm like, what the fuck you mean it's island? There's an S in it, it's clearly island, not island, and she's like, yeah, there's an S, but the S is silent, and I'm like, then why the fuck did they put an S there if they're not gonna fucking use it? Because honestly, who the fuck was in charge of creating these? words did they just sit around like okay we need a word for this a body of land surrounded by water on all sides we're thinking of calling it an island but we haven't come up with a way to spell it yet well we could start off with an i okay yes that's a good start very good start what else and then uh since it's made up of land i guess we could end it with land so it's i land but then we make land sound like lind uh why why wouldn't we just spell it out as lind instead of land then because there's no such thing as land. Have you ever heard of a land? Huh? No, you haven't. But there is such thing as land. So it's I, land, but spelled as land. That's what we're going to do. You're right. That's a good point. All right. So that's how we're going to spell island. I-L-A-N-D. Perfect. So next word is wait. What? What? What are we waiting for? We just finished the word. Let's put an S in there. In island? Why the fuck would we put an S in there? There's no S in the pronunciation of the word at all. There's no reason for the S. Yeah, but we can make it a silent S. What? What does that even mean? How are you going to make a letter silent? What the fuck are you talking about? Do you want my father to pull out the funding for this project? Is that what you want? Do you want to lose your funding? Are you really threatening me right now? It's not a threat. I'm just saying I can make a quick call right now and you won't have any more money to fund this and you'll probably all lose your jobs. All because of an S? A silent S. Fine, we'll put the fucking S in, but no more silent letters. Okay, that's fine. What the fuck, man? What are you doing with your hand? Nothing. Are you crossing your fucking fingers? I don't know. Am I? You know, you're a real fucking piece of shit, Carl. I know.